Hello guys, here's a new Blender tutorial for creating a very simple hard surface model by using booleans and my free JMesh tools add-on. I start with the default cube, go to edit mode and use the transform tool to scale it down like this. Ok, then I press Ctrl and R to add an edge loop in the middle And then I go ahead and add another edge loop and move it a bit to the left. I switch to face selection then, select this face and press the E key to extrude just a bit downwards. Then I go to edge selection again, double click this edge loop to select it and then I press Ctrl and B to add a bevel. You see, you can also use the bevel tool to create a kind of inset. And then I go back to face selection, select this face and extrude it. Ok, very simple so far. Now what I want to do is to add bevels to these edges here. This one and this one. But when I bevel this, I get a kind of ugly topology here. So I undo this and then I will show you how to avoid this. First I select all these edges here. And then I press Ctrl and the X key to dissolve the edges. I know I have a lot of n-gons now but I'm not afraid of it. I can select these edges and add the bevel without having topology issues. Ok, great, now let's select these edges here and also bevel them, press Ctrl and B and move the mouse wheel to add more segments. Now we have these nice rounded parts. I go to the overlays now to check the normals if they are facing in the right direction. They seem to be fine and we can continue creating the base mesh. Now it's time to add the holes to the mesh, the difference booleans. To do this I go to the JMesh panel of my JMesh tools add-on, the link can be found in the description below and I activate the primitive mode. I press P to have a circle primitive and then the O key to set the operation to difference. And now we can draw a circle here onto the mesh by pressing Ctrl left click. Then move the mouse to set the size. And then after pressing Ctrl left click again you cut through the mesh. Ok, that was the first hole but we have to add another one, add this area. So I do exactly the same, draw a circle and then Ctrl left click again to cut into the mesh. The next step is to symmetrize the mesh along the X axis and to do this I press this button to bring the negative X side of the mesh to the positive X side of the mesh. And the base mesh is created, I go to edit mode and double click this edge loop, then press Ctrl and the X key to dissolve it. Because it is redundant, we don't need it here in the middle. It was created when the mesh got symmetrized. And now we'll improve the bevels and the shading of the mesh. First I enable the material preview in the viewport. And then I open the object data properties and set the normals to auto smooth. Then I activate the material tab, assign the default material and change the properties. I set it to full metallic and decrease the roughness a bit. Looks nice already, I right click to set the shading to smooth. And the last thing we need is some bevels. I open the modifiers panel and add a bevel modifier. For this I decrease the offset to a value of let's say 0.02, enable harden normals and set the limit method to angle. Ok, it looks nice, you can play around with the offset if you like to set the width of the bevel. And you could also add a weighted normals modifier which can improve the shading of the mesh.
All right, very cool. To make it look really pop, we can go to the render properties and enable ambient occlusion, some bloom. I also enable the scene lights here in the material preview and increase the strength of the environment a bit. In the end, I increase the quality of the shadows here in the render properties. Yeah, and that's basically it for this simple hard surface mesh. So guys, if you like this tutorial and the add-on JMesh tools, then let me know. By the way, I added some new features to it. For example, a mirror in primitive mode. A video about this will come next week, don't miss it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, follow me on my Instagram, Facebook or Twitter. And I'll see you on JNM.